All right, we are using some model magic clay today to make a cute little ghost sculpture that is popping out of a pumpkin. So you could actually um, put it flat on the table. And we're going to lay it down though because it's a better view for the camera. So we are using a half of a package of Model Magic Clay by Crayola. And I usually just cut it right in half with my scissors. All right, so I need to sort of plan out what I'm doing here. So I want to have a little piece for the top, the top part of the pumpkin. It's kind of like a little hat for the ghost. Well, maybe a little bit more. Okay, and I'm going to need a little stem for that. A tiny bit of green and then I'm going to need a piece for my bottom of my pumpkin and then a piece for my ghost so probably the biggest piece will be the piece for the bottom of my pumpkin so here's a pretty good ghost shape and then my pumpkin so for my pumpkin the bottom and the top piece they are both going to be orange so i'm going to put them together and i'm going to use my crayola markers these are not washable they're just regular crayola markers the classic set and I'm going to use orange. I flatten out my piece, I color it, I fold it in. So the marker stays in the clay and it doesn't get on my hands. I'm gonna flatten it out again. And I'm gonna color it in. And I'm going to fold it in again. So flatten it, color it, fold it so the marker is on the inside. Okay. And one more time. So usually about three times is good. This marker doesn't seem really super fresh. So I might need to do it another time. The more ink you can get onto the clay, the better. So the fresher your marker is, the better it will work out for you. Okay, so now I'm going to mix the clay with the marker. And how I do that is just by twisting and pulling it apart and smushing it back together. So I'm starting to get a nice orange color. And I keep mixing it until I don't see any more white of the Model Magic Clay. I just like to get one solid color. So this, I would like it to be a little bit darker, I think. So I'm going to flatten it out. And I'm going to color it again. I use the side of the marker when I'm coloring. That way I can color quicker. Fold it in, flatten 
it out again. Color it again. And it doesn't matter what kind of shape it is. When you're flattening it out, probably it's easier to color if it's smoother. So if you flatten it out and it's real bumpy, it might be harder to color that way. Okay. So again, I'm going to fold this in and then mix it up. So my color is getting a little bit more orangey. So if I wanted it darker, again, I would just color it some more. But this is, this is good. Okay, and I need to remember that part of it was for the top of the pumpkin. So I'm going to break off a piece. Let's see, you could probably roll it up. And then maybe just flatten it out a little. Maybe curve it down a little, so it's sort of like a little hat. Okay, so it's a little bit curved. Okay, and then my other piece is more like a pinch pot. If you've ever made a pinch pot before, you roll up a piece of clay, and then you put your finger, your thumb in the middle, and you turn and pinch. I'm getting a little bowl shape, pot shape. Turning and pinching. So I'm just going to pull the sides out a little bit wider. Okay, so I've got a good shape for the bottom part of my pumpkin and the top part of my pumpkin. And then this little tiny piece is for the stem. So I'm going to get some green. I'm going to flatten it out as best I can. And I'm going to color in that. I'm going to try to fold it in so I don't get that green on my fingers. When I opened my marker, I got a little bit on my finger anyways. And we're going to mix that up to get our green stem. I only had to color this once because it was such a small piece. And then that's going to go on the top of my pumpkin. And then my ghost. This is actually a pretty decent shape, but I guess if I didn't have a good shape to start with, I would probably start with a ball. And then just sort of pull... So it's a little bit more like an oval. And then if I want some arms on them, just sort of pinch out the sides to give them some arms. So of course there's no wrong way to make a ghost shape. Okay, and then he's just going to sit in the pot or the bottom of the pumpkin. And then the little... Top part's going to go on his head. So now he's peeking out. And then we'll take a little bit of black. Either a black permanent marker or 
black Crayola marker will be fine too. And make a little dot. Real gently for the eyes. And real gently for the smile. And then same thing on my pumpkin. A little dot for the eye. Eye. And a little tiny. Smile for the mouth. And while it dries, I'm actually probably going to turn it this way so that I make sure that it's balanced for while it dries. All right, and good luck with yours.